everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to put a little video in right here before I forget. This is not keto, but this is going to be really good. This is an Italian pizza, and if you notice the pan depth, yeah, Jim's over there eating cabbage, but this is the pan depth. It's quite deep. And this is how we always made Sicilian pizza, is what it would be called. And this is what we're going to have. I'm going to have it. If Jim eats it, fine. If not, well, I'm eating it. Nona Grace always eats the stuff. <laughs> she likes it. Then, of course, there's always dough left over, so I made a loaf of bread. I put it on this cast iron... I don't know what this cast iron thing is for, but I put it on this cast iron thing on my stone in the oven and I baked the bread. So I made a loaf of bread too. And this is all made with, it's a different type of recipe. I will show you the recipe. This is the recipe that I used. It was from my Aunt Lena, which she was born in Italy. So this is a true Italian recipe. When they say Italian pizza dough, don't believe it. This is probably more Italian than not. So this is the recipe. Sicilian. It's a Sicilian pizza dough. And you notice there's two eggs in it. A lot of doughs don't have eggs in it. It's got six to seven cups of flour, half a cup of olive oil. Well, we don't use vegetable oil, but you could. Two eggs and two yeast in warm water. And it's about two cups of water. I use two tablespoons of yeast because I have the dry yeast. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. And then two teaspoons of salt and mix like bread. And then you put in the oven and you bake it for 25 minutes at 425. And this is the recipe for, and see it says Aunt Lena. That was my dad's sister. Now that was a pizza that my aunt lena would always make and my mother liked that dough a lot better than the dough that she was making now that dough isn't if you make it it's not um it's not like the bread dough that you have with pizzas today it's different it's it's got more of a i'd say more of a biscuity kind of texture it's not yeah. it's different it is different even though it's made with yeast it's got a different texture to it, but it's really good if you like that type of dough. Or if you're, if you're so used to the other dough, then you would like the other dough better. So it's a matter of just preference. Okay, um, I, when I was in my comments, Farmer G had um, commented about the calculating of the, the date and the age. And he noticed that... If you did next year's, it comes out with um, 2021. And so I was doing it for a lot of years, but I didn't do all of them because after a while I get tired of figuring out how old am I going to be or would I be in that year. But it works all the way. I don't know why. It works all with all the 20s. And even no. when you go into the 20... Um, whatever it was. What was it? 21... 20. Two one zero zero, whatever the number. You know, all this is confusing. The twenty twenty got it was hard to twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen was hard to get used to after having nineteen something, nineteen nineteen ninety nine and then when we went to two thousand it was like really crazy. Well, it feels crazy to go on to anything other than to keep going. But anyways it will work with all those years. So I thought it was just a special fluke for just 2020, but apparently it's not. Um, and I was when I was sitting outside in the sun, I was I had my eyes shut, and I was thinking, you know, if somebody was really, really talented, or maybe they've already done this, I don't know, but I was thinking the perfect phone would be a solar phone because you know when you think about it people have to charge their phones all the time and when I was sitting in the sun and you could feel the heat of the sun 
A perfect phone would be a solar phone. I don't know, is there maybe invented already that I don't know about it? I don't know. Maybe somebody out there knows if it's been invented, but it would be the perfect kind of cell phone to have. They have um, calculators that are solar, solar um, charged, but they do have a battery for a backup. But the phones could be the same thing, where, you, where it charges with solar as long as you have sunshine. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I guess that is everything for today. Oh, it's really nice. short and sweet. So I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.